morning YouTube viewers and subscribers so I've got my little throttle control tester servo set up here that I've taken off my bench um, it's been working fine for me it's a you know pretty nice little addition I haven't really had to make any adjustments to do any different engines because I haven't done a variety of engines yet but it does seem to be a pretty solid little device and it works well however there was a subscriber um, to my channel that saw my initial video where I kind of assembled this thing and he thought that he might be able to actually help me out a little bit more than this strange little cover setup I've got here and what I got in the mail yesterday was a box from this subscriber his name is Oliver and uh, I already know what's in here but you guys don't what he ended up doing was using some expertise in 3D printing and creating me a new servo box and huh look at this very nice the first thing I see in here is a new servo to go along with it too so I don't have to use my 35 year old a servo I can use this 25 year old JR servo many people may not even recognize this brand this is a awesome brand thank you very much Oliver this servo will obviously come in handy so let's see what these servo trays look like that uh, Oliver created for me for a 3D printer and this is it very nice oh check it out it's even got a battery compartment battery box here very very cool so let's see here is it gonna looks like it's almost exactly the same size so this should be really neat so I got a couple of different ones here I can try out. There were a couple other things here. I think Oliver told me that he made a couple of tops here, uh, but the hole spacing for the switch wasn't right, so that's that's fine. I can drill my own holes there, and there are actually bosses underneath here for me to drill for my servo too. Uh, just pop a quick 16th inch hole in there. This is awesome. I can't wait to get one of these things set up, transfer those components, and put them inside here. Alright, there you go. Quick and easy. Man, I love this thing. Check it out. I just went ahead and threw my same uh, Ace servo in there because it already had the throttle arm in there for no other reason other than that. Drilled a couple of holes here for my switch. So my switch works. Should work anyway. Still got a little bit of the double sided tape on this thing so I can just kind of drop this on here. I like these nice little openings here for these uh, the battery or for the connection leads. Okay I guess my switch is on and it works. This thing is kind of the, the weak link. They just got some plastic sleeve covering this thing. Let's see here. Then I think I had my Y here. And this guy plugs into here. Now this thing is ready to rock and roll. Oliver, I can't thank you enough. This thing is super cool. And I think I may have covered it up a little bit here, but I can move this a bit. I'll move it up a little bit. You can see it actually embossed my name in there also. So that is a super awesome gift and surprise I really like it. Watch this battery compartment this is cool so I've also got it set up so my charge lead is right here so I don't even have to take the battery out if I don't need to I can just pop that thing out boom it's ready to go don't think I'm gonna need this anymore since it's got bosses here for screwing into wherever it's gonna go on my stand I might put it on the piece of wood too I don't know but this thing was getting kinda nasty with oil a lot of oil blow by getting on there this thing will be a lot easier to wipe down and clean up really super awesome gift so thank you very much Oliver uh, obviously I'll be using this anytime I run my engines thank you all for watching